What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be working on the E91 M3 and literally this should be the final video of getting everything else pretty much prepped up to start getting some of the paint in there. And once you get the paint in there, guys, we are gonna be ready to actually slap an engine in there. I decided instead of actually getting this car towed away, cause you stripped pretty much everything on this car, instead of getting it towed away um, to get the engine pay painted, um, why don't we just do it ourselves? We can fully like blast the entire engine bay, get that thing fully sanded, primer it ourselves, same way we did with the Supra, and then actually get a can from a shop um, that's the exact paint coat of the individual color that I want. Because for an engine bay, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, literally, even the Toyota Supra from the factory came with orange peel from the factory. So if the engine bay comes with a little bit of orange peel, I don't think it's the end of the world. We can end up getting that thing polished out anyways. But as long as the paint color is exactly what we want, we're gonna be really happy with that. So we're gonna try to get really good results in our backyard using just cans and a lot, a lot, a lot of prep work. Honestly, guys, Paint work all relies on prep work. If you guys don't do proper prep work, it's gonna look bad regardless. Anywho, let's go ahead and head to the backyard. Start stripping some more things out of the car so we get this full body harness out of here. And then, uh, yeah, we did order a few tools are coming in today and we should be able to get the windshield out. We should be able to start uh, working on that engine bay. All right, guys, so coming out here, you guys can see that pretty much everything is stripped. We literally just have this one wiring harness right over here, which really doesn't matter. We can literally just yank that right off. That absolutely does not matter. We have this wiring harness over here that goes to the bottom of the car for the all-wheel drive system. We'll pull that out once we're actually underneath the car. We have the full wiring harness pulled right here to the center from back and front. The only wiring harness that's attached to this car at this point actually goes down to both sides of the wheel wells, which pretty much belongs to the wheel speed sensors and a couple other sensors down here. So we're gonna go ahead, jack up the car, remove everything, disconnect the sensors. We need to drop the DMTL pump and the DMTL lines, which actually comes all the way to the front right there, guys. Reason being is the E90 M3 actually has the DMTL pump relocated in a different place because of the quad tip exhaust. This this car, because it's a 328 and the exhaust is on this side with a big muffler, um, they literally located the DM tail pump right over here, which blocks the dual exit exhaust pipe. So we need to fully disconnect that, unplug the sensor, route up the wiring. Actually, we still got a little bit more over here we need to actually get sorted, which is not a big deal. It literally just connects to a few modules back there. Again, we'll disconnect all of that. That stuff's pretty easy. Let's just go and get underneath the car, disconnect the fuel pump, and remove as much DM tail lines as we possibly can. And guys, finally, we got the body harness completely removed. Literally every single wire in this entire cabin is completely removed. Now we're at this point to where uh, we need to start doing some of the painting. So we can start getting some more of the new wiring in the car, um, the engine bay in the car. Uh, so what I was honestly thinking, like I told you guys earlier, is to honestly do the the, the pretty much like the underliner portions all with spray cans. Like obviously stuff like this, I will not do with spray cans. I'm gonna take it professionally to get painted. Pretty much everything you guys see from the outside on this side is gonna get professionally painted. Um, as far as the stuff back here you guys can actually see this is actually over spray for the most part this car looks like as if it was literally dipped or like a machine kind of just spray painted it like this because if you guys look in the intersections like right over here um that's not spray painted that entire section down there is not spray painted this none of it has paint if you guys look over here especially looking at it from this angle none of this is painted over here you can see a little bit of overspray but none of that stuff is painted so from the factory honestly this inner cabin is not painted which means honestly uh, we don't need to kind of go overkill that's going to be too much work sanding down every little groove and no one's honestly going to see any of this and <laughs> 
<laughs> to be honest, guys, if BMW thought it was perfectly fine and acceptable, I'm sure this is perfectly fine and acceptable. So what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to leave the suspension on the car because I do want to get this thing loaded onto our trailer and take it down for a power wash uh, so we can actually properly get everything cleaned up over here on the undercarriage, everything. All this oil kind of just off of the car. I feel like with the power wash, it should be so much easier. Vacuum all this stuff off at the car wash. So that being said, I'm going to leave the suspension on the car, but when we end up painting it, I'm just going to take off the wheels. I don't care if there's overspray with this suspension or this fuel tank because everything's going to be removed. Literally the entire undercarriage is going to be removed as well. This is going to be a straight shell um, by the time, honestly, we're done with it. So I'm going to leave the suspension on the car just so it'll make it easy. So when we actually spray everything, you can put the wheels back on and roll this thing out. So what I'm going to end up spraying with a spray can, uh, for those of you guys who are wondering, um, this section right here, I'm probably going to end up spraying it just because I want to. It, it, it's kind of an easy thing to spray paint. The factory, honestly, it looks like BMW never actually cared to paint this section because it's covered up with a fender. Um, so my goal is spray paint this section right here, spray paint this section down here that gets covered up by the side skirt, spray paint this section back here. I mean, honestly, again, you're never going to see this unless you actually remove the wheel liner. Probably this box back here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint that. And then same stuff on this side. And then I probably honestly do a little bit of overspray in the interior cabin, um, just so you know, if you end up removing these plastic pieces, you'll see it. But again, for all this stuff on the external portion of the body, this is all gonna get painted professionally. The engine bay, we're gonna honestly do with cans as well. As long as it comes out glossy and smooth and it looks good and factory paint code, we're gonna stick with it. But if we end up finishing the job and honestly, we're not too happy with it, we'll end up getting it towed down to the shop and just have it all spray painted. I just figured if we can do this on our own, we're going to be learning something new. And at the same time, it's going to make our life a whole lot easier because we could just start assembling the car and just getting it running. Guys, we're officially back home and I picked up a really, really, really nice winch. So obviously, um, a lot of people end up getting their winches also from Harbor Freight, but I decided to get mine from Rough Country because you guys know everything on my truck is from Rough Country. And honestly, I wanted my trailer to fit the same theme as the truck. So I went ahead and picked up this new winch and uh, I'm really hoping it's good. I mean, uh, I, I think the I think this one is a synthetic rope, 9,500 pound capacity. Um, the next one up is 1,200, uh, 12,000. This is 9,500. I think 9,500 is more than enough. Like literally my truck doesn't even waste. I think my thick truck is like 4,000 pounds. So I feel like 9,500 should be more than enough. So not only do we have the winch now, we finally have the storage container. We have a solar panel to charge the battery. We also have a uh, charger to charge the battery. So if we want to quickly charge it, of waiting for the solar to charge it we could just plug it in and charge it or we could just basically make it a wired setup if we really need to and the, the for some reason the solar panel is not doing its job i also do have two bmw batteries right over here i might be using this one for it but i don't know how this system is gonna work i might end up just picking up a regular 12 volt battery and just hook it up because it'll be smaller and just more convenient but worst comes to worst we do have two good batteries right there so we just end up using that i also got this piece which is going to be like a trailer stand i got a bunch of trailer upgrades and uh, i think without further ado let's just go ahead and just dive into it and just try to get this winch mounted because that'd be so sick and we can get the e91 loaded up We 
kind of just mocked up where the storage thing is going to sit and we kind of just mocked up where this uh this rail is going to sit and honestly this looks really good now unfortunately this didn't come with any hardware and this didn't come with any hardware so i'm assuming i need to go to like uh ac parts or whatever or like napa auto parts you probably have to get some like stainless steel bolts i'll get back to y'all in a second once i actually figure those two things out so finally now that we got all of our new hardware and we got everything situated i even put on this front witch mount onto this thing actually it came out perfectly i thought that this bracket only works for harbor freight winches but honestly this bracket works perfectly with that winch and this winch piece right here it looks so 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 good let's go ahead first things first actually install this guy first so any wires and things like that we can actually route it inside the box Alrighty guys, so I had to cut the video because it is getting a little bit late and you guys honestly can't see anything. These are also some things I ended up picking up from Harbor Freight, which is a solar panel to help us charge the battery so we never actually have to take the battery out of the box. And this is also a trickle charger. So hypothetically, if the battery is not being charged enough or we're using it too much in one day, we could just hook it up to a, a manual power source and then be able to use the winch as well. So I want it to be manual and wireless at the same time. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and just install these two guys. And then I went ahead and picked up this set right over here to allow us to hook up the winch automatically to this battery, as well as the charger and the solar panel. So that being said, I'm in a time scrunch. It is 9.17 and it is getting super late. As soon as it hits 10 o'clock, I'm not going to do any drilling or anything like that, or I will get in trouble. So let me go ahead and head back out there and try to get as much done in the next 45 minutes. It is 10.41. I was really, really, really rushing it. Uh, you guys can see I'm sweating right now, but thank the Lord. I finally actually finished the whole trailer situation. Now, I don't actually know if the winch is working, mainly because the battery is dead. I'm really hoping to God that winch works because I've pretty much fully installed that winch. And it'd be such a pain in the butt to take all that stuff back apart. But at least now we also have the solar system hooked up. So tomorrow morning, you should be able to charge the battery somewhat. We do have the trickle charger hooked up. So, so as long as we plug in some kind of extension cable, we can actually charge that battery. As we pretty much got the full system over there. I'll try to show you guys that tomorrow morning. As for the E90, I don't really want to go to bed because there's so much I want to get done during the night because during the day I'm working on the E91. During the nighttime, I'm doing other projects, for example, like my truck and then also my E90 over here. We have a bunch of black trim pieces I have for the E90 daily. For those of you guys who don't know, this car came with great interior and I absolutely hate that. So I, wanted, I, so I finally got my hand on some more black trim pieces and this is going to help with not only the value of the car, but also my satisfaction. So it's kind of a win-win situation. So I'm going to go ahead and get to this. I'll show you guys what I did uh, tomorrow morning and i'll also show you guys the old trader setup tomorrow morning hoping that the trailer doesn't actually get stolen or something like that but any usuals i'll catch y'all tomorrow morning and after one good shower and about six hours later um let me show you guys the trailer finally i am happy to say guys that our trailer is officially ready i got this thing pretty much bolted down um i got this plate from harbor freight i mounted it down right over here right over here like two in the center three over here three on that side one against this section once against this section which is the metal section so i feel like this should be more than enough strength to actually hold down this winch um where it comes to us also i might actually do some welds right over here but i already tested it out and so far so good the only thing i'm having kind of an issue with um i think is the battery i think maybe either this battery is dead or it's possibly bad i think it's just dead i think really i think it really needs to be charged um i do have a solar panel hooked up to it i don't know if it's enough wattage to actually get this thing to be charged up but as you guys can see right now the solar panel is working it's actually charging our battery opening this bad boy up we got the battery right over here this is the solar connection uh this is the winch connections right over here i have my controller that we can hook up to the winch whenever we need it and then we also have a trickle charger hooked up right over here i kind of set it up and mounted it right there And guys, after about an hour of trying to get this thing on here, um, we actually got it on here, actually no problems. 
Uh, the only thing is, is that the battery that's actually powering the winch is completely dead. So I did have to use a jumper to get the winch to work, but the rest of that setup ended up working perfectly. So thank the Lord that winch ended up picking up this entire car. Now, mind you guys, this car probably weighs less, probably like a thousand, maybe even like 1500 pounds, just because it's literally just metal at this point. And for me to feel a hundred percent comfortable with this winch setup, I would definitely want to weld it right over here just because it's bolted into the wood here and I have one bolt into the frame there, one bolt into the other side. So if I get this welded up right over here, I feel really, really, really comfortable with this winch. Plus this winch actually didn't actually come with the hook. So I reached out to Rough Country trying to get that hook. I don't know why mine didn't come with it. I guess they just forgot to put it in the box. So uh, I had to use a janky way, using another janky way to get this on here. So I'm just happy you got on here and thank the Lord, that thing is very strong. Now, honestly, I could have power washed this at the house, but I really want to test out the trailer setup and I really wanted to make sure that the grime and everything really comes off. I mean, the power washer I have at the house is not that strong. And last thing I want is to actually power wash this entire car and then still have to deal with grime when I'm sanding. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's head down to the car wash and get this thing washed. Right, guys just got a full tank of gas <laughs> everyone was looking at me like what is that <laughs> like honestly seeing a completely stripped car is a little bit concerning i mean it doesn't look like it's been in a fire so like what's going on why does this guy have a completely stripped car anyways we need to get back to the freeway because uh we got to head down to that car wash which is on the other side of oak grove unfortunately <laughs> And just like that, guys, we got the E91 back home. Everything's super cleaned up. We actually power washed pretty much the whole rear trunk as well because it was super dirty. This area was super dirty as well. We're gonna go ahead and just wipe down everything and just dry up everything. But at least now, all the areas that are gonna be behind the panels, we're gonna end up painting ourselves with OE paint. And on another note, guys, this trailer actually did really, really, really good. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I actually have a car right over here on this side uh, that we ended up picking up for Jonathan. And that was our first tow with this trailer. This was our second tow with this trailer. And honestly guys it handled so well i mean in the trailer it's to be expected a trailer is a trailer but that winch handled so well and i'm super happy i honestly saw no hesitation with it eventually once we actually get that stuff all welded down it's going to be absolutely perfect and hopefully hopefully this battery is good that's in here i'm actually trickle charging it right now because i have a trickle charger setup and a solar panel set up right behind this box right here so hopefully if this battery is good we should see it at a full charge by the end of the night i'm just going to leave this truck right here i'm going to go ahead and just start drying up the e91 that stuff i'm sure you guys absolutely don't care but hopefully in the next video i'm gonna head out today as soon as i finish drying that up to hopefully get some paint and some primer from a paint shop and uh you know just start working on that engine because as soon as we get that engine bay and all the wheel wells pretty much painted we can go ahead and drop the car and pull the engine out of the e90 m3 and start pulling out the wiring harness and start transferring everything over it's gonna be so 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 sick i am so stoked as long as i don't mess anything up we should be having an e91 m3 by by the end of this project i mean e91 m3 how sick would that be i've never seen one in person to any event i've ever been to i just think it's gonna be so sick and hopefully in the next 
next video, you guys are about to find out the color that this E91 M3 is gonna be. And I know you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So if you guys are excited to find out the color, make sure to smash like button. If you guys are excited for the build, make sure to smash that like button. This particular build is not doing so well with the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys can smash that like button for me, that would mean the absolute world. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.